Good day, everyone. Uh, let me share you the story of uh, strong resilience uh, amidst all the adversities caused by this pandemic. And this has taught us not to be uh, <clears throat> only resilient. This has made us more uh, stronger and uh, I think more committed towards our vision towards making a positive change in the life of small businesses, youth, women, and lower income families of the country. So Bangladesh is one of the hardest hit countries of the world due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But this is a country which has shown one of the most extraordinary resilience in both the year 2020 and 2021, posting a GDP growth more than 5% although around two and a half percent lower than its projected GDP growth uh, in normal time. But Bangladesh is also coming back strongly uh, once the situation is getting uh, normal. Uh, so I will show you how IPDC uh, really uh, worked during the pandemic and how it's, it is building for the future post pandemic to really uh, 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 contribute towards its strategic commitments. So first, we ensured safeguard of our employees, first and foremost priority. So work from home and workplace safety programs were institutionalized. We had physical and mental health awareness programs for our employees. We had free COVID test, then supporting the clients. So not for a single day our operations were stopped. There were two uh, major lockdowns, complete shutdown of the uh, uh, businesses and uh, non-essential uh, 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 institutional activities. But for banks, financial institution as categorized as essential activity. So we, we continued our operations even during the two months of lockdown in 2020 and even two months of lockdown in 2021. And mostly we worked from home during that time. And even without the lockdown, we worked in shift. And we made sure that our focus uh, is uh, more goes towards the small enterprises. Most of our customers got hit, but it was the small businesses who were more, more vulnerable due to the disruption caused by this pandemic. And IPDC made sure we were the one of the leading institution in disbursing the stimulus package uh, announced by the government and executed by the central bank in Bangladesh. We supported the community. First, we made sure uh, we offered free health and life insurance for all our SME customers. We embedded uh, charity with our product programs. I'll give you two the examples how we did it. And our CSR fund, we tripled during 2020 at the peak of the pandemic to make sure uh, we extend our hands towards those who are in need. We also safeguarded our business first by uh, uh, fast tracking the development of our digital platforms, not only uh, digitizing the existing process and products, but making sure we adopt new technologies to build new business plans uh, to cater to the new uh, target arenas. We also made sure uh, we have additional uh, reserve created in our balance sheet. Uh, so that the, the post-pandemic fallouts in uh, our customers' uh, repayment behavior uh, can, make, uh, can be adequately addressed. And also we made sure we had enough liquidity buffer. So as I was talking about employee health and safety programs, we brought in a new innovative concept uh, of stay home, stay fit programs whereby the best practices of uh, uh, physical and mental health uh, and also the ideas were shared by employees themselves through gamification. And it made sure that employees are 
at par in terms of productivity while they are at home. We introduced a new kind of deposit products whereby the part of the interest is sacrificed by the clients uh, for charity and equal amount is uh, contributed by IPDC itself by which we supported 11,000 people by providing them the monthly food supplies. We also introduced a new uh, quick personal loan for uh, uh, these COVID patients among our clients whereby we offered them 45 days interest-free loan when a, a, one of our clients is uh, admitted in a hospital. As I was talking about the digital transformation, so we had four major digital, digital products. One is the Arjun, the digital supply chain uh, platform uh, based on blockchain technologies. Another is IPDC Easy. This is for consumer durable lending through cardless apps on your smart device. Another is IPDC Dana, which means wings. This is to really bring on all the retailers across the country on a digital platform and giving them digital credit through collaboration with manufacturers and marketeers. And number four is Shiri, that is to end-to-end -to -end digitization of our lending process for SMEs by which they can really, this is a self, this can be made self-service in future, but now from application process to loan disbursement, all can be done auto in an automated digital platform. So as I was talking about Arjun, during COVID this year, our disbursement uh, to the SMEs through this supply chain financing almost uh, more than doubled uh, in 2021. We saw uh, more uh, interest from corporates to support their suppliers uh, through collaboration with IPDC in 2021 alone, more than 24,000 invoices has been processed with average ticket size of 17,500 only. Uh, and we have disbursed more than 390 million US dollar during 2021 year to date. In Dana, we have already onboarded 13,000 retailers across the country. And we have made around 11,000 disbursement, not a single default till now. And we have an aspiration to onboard 1 million retailers by 2026 through our digital platform, which will not only ensure their liquidity, uh, also that will ensure better retail management by the manufacturers through uh, digital collection and uh, monitoring, which was not possible by the most of the manufacturers as they do not have a order management or retail management uh, platform. We, as I was saying about the government uh, stimulus package distribution, especially to the CSMEs, IPDC is one of the 17 banks and financial institutions amongst 100 who have reached the target for disbursement of CSME stimulus package. And IPDC was the only institute which not only reached the target, but exceeded the target. Uh, and good thing is 92% of the disbursement took place for production and service sectors. And then 19% per, of the fund went to the women entrepreneurs in the context where around 3.14% of the SME finance in Bangladesh goes towards women entrepreneurs. And 72% of the disbursement took to the cottage micro and small enterprises, only 28% went to the medium enterprises. So this ensured IPDC remained at par with the call of the business, call of the country, and that has resulted in a financial performance which is better than any bank or financial institution in the market. We had posted growth both in 2020 and 2021 in our lending portfolio, as well as in our customer deposit. And also we could really keep our default loan in check lower than 2% two, uh, 2 now. And we have made sure another 2% additional reserve created against our lending portfolio. As we see, there are some moratorium given by the central bank for the businesses. Once that is over, we expect 
or we apprehend there might be some casualties in uh, repayment. So we have kept ourselves ready for that. So IPDC has emerged as one of the most socially responsible and innovative financial institution. And that is because the kind of digital transformation the company has successfully done and but the journey is not yet over we will definitely continue building on our technology-led business models to cater to the small businesses and lower income households across the country thank you